serious? Right now on Scunion, it's 4.03 p.m. on Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. You know, I heard Flick is taking some time off here on Scunion. Oh, does he buy bugs for like extra money or something? That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Anyway, March. I caught almost every critter that was even available in February. So now they're, oh, it's so windy today. So now they're, oh, this is a new song. I like it. It's very chill. Mark. Marked. There's so many more uh, things to catch. Okay. In terms of things that are gone after this month, there's only one, and it's a fish called the string fish. So we're going to want to find a string fish uh, before April comes, which should not be too hard at all. I mean, I have a full month to catch one fish. I've been catching all kinds of fish. Yeah, main task I want to do today, really, is just like my... I mean, I only have a couple hours. I'm kind of just playing this to decompress uh, after a busy, busy day. I have an emperor butter. Oh, I should sell that off to, um, I already, I already donated one, didn't I? So I should, yeah, I should sell that off to Flick if I can find him. La la la. Bomp. You two, not the mediocre band, just the flower. Sorry to any, get out of here. Sorry to any you two love. Oh. Here I come. It's a praying mantis. Just a mantis. It's just a mantis. Man, tis so cool. Genuinely, I had that thought when I cut the mantis shrimp. I thought they were going to make that exact pun when, when I cut the mantis shrimp. But they were saving it for the mantis mantis. You know what? We have that residential zone over to the left. You're doing so good. There you go. Wow. A tiger butterfly for my stripes. Oh, I do want to build that incline really bad, but I need more money. Okay, let's see. Where should I put a nice... Who would be like a garden? Oh, right by the bird bath. I'm going to surround this bird bath in flowers. Because you even have a garden table and a garden chair. F, yeah. White hyacinths. There are no, like, hybrid white hyacinths, right? No. So I can go ahead and plant these as well. Uh, yellow hyacinths. That's extra. I can plant these too. And then I have a couple different kinds of pansies. I got orange pansies and yellow pansies. Neither of which I need. Bink bonk. Wow, 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 wow. Look at you waving your silly arms. All right, let's go donate. Flick. Are you Flick? Flick. Oh, you're silly. Oh, uh, hi. Do you live here? I'm Flick. I'm kind of a bug buff. An insect enthusiast. An arthropod artiste. I love all bugs and their appendages. Can I offer you, say, 6,360 bells with a bunch of them? Absolutely. Really? Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you, Flick. Flick is so cute. I like Flick. I use a little, like, chameleon or something. You know if you catch any more. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Whoa. What are you? You're beautiful. A peacock butterfly. There's so many new butterflies. Wow. Uh, I haven't been in the um, bug section of the museum yet. Maybe after we catch a few new bugs here, I can take a look through there. I've only really strolled through the fish area. The aquarium, if you will. <laughs> also colloquially called the fish area. Let's let's go ahead and count up. This is everything we have to catch in March. We have not yet caught. We need a string fish. That one's time sensitive, so I'll have to do a lot of clifftop river fishing. Uh, a barred knife jaw, which is medium sized in the sea. As always, though, I doubt we'll be able to make much headway here on stream because of the laggers. Oh. Black bass. Um, still haven't got that blue marlin on the pier. A bluegill, which is in the river and is small. Oh, no, no it's, it's out of time. So no more bluegill. Uh, it's too late for that. A char, which is also a clifftop river. And the golden trout is clifftop river. Okay, we have a lot of clifftop river fishing to do. I might, uh, like, dig up some clams, make a bunch of bait, and then head on up to our clifftop river. That's something that I'll do off camera. Because I know a lot of y'all were sad that you couldn't see me catch, like, the big fancy fish. But I just, I can't do it on stream. I get too frustrated because I can't catch fish very easily. Okay, we're just gonna have to, like, catch all the fish we see. Because there are, there are new fish pretty much everywhere right now. Um, let's, let's visit the town hall. I need to be playing with a little more urgency here. I'm just wandering around doing nothing. What up, what up? Ah, Thomas, hello, hello. Getting more inquiries about the, about the campsite you helped build. Yes, yes, I plan to draw visitors easily with the campsite. It's proven itself to be a masterpiece. We're not done, Thomas, and we're all counting on you. What should I do? Yes, yes. I'll explain the last major task for Project K, then. We started gathering feedback from folks on and off the island. Our focus right now should be improving the image of the island, gaining that all-important word-of-mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with collect... Uh, I've never seen that word before. Collating? Collating the feedback? That's a new word for Thomas. Collate. Collate. 
for collating. Collect and combine. Ah, I've asked Isabel to assist with collating the feedback. Okay, we need to increase the population, improve the island's scenery, and turn Scania into the most charming island it can be. Infrastructure is important, but let's plant flowers and use decorations to make this place look snazzy. Thanks for your help. Mm. Okay, so he's sending you to speak to Isabel. Oh, Thomas, it's great to see you. Oh, of course. Let's talk island evals. What the hell does that mean? Seems you're as excited to hear about the image of your island as I am to talk about it. Allow me to explain how the task force, that's me, collects and analyzes the data from my reports. First, I conduct random polling around the island with residents, visitors, and tourists. Their feedback is then ranked using a well-known five-star system. The better the balance of natural beauty, development, and decor, the more stars the island receives. Okay, so I need to get it. What do I need to make my island five stars out of five? That means we need more residents and buildings, proper infrastructure, and a well-decorated natural setting. Easy enough, right? What am I at right now? Damn, okay, that's tragic. I hope it'll stay nice and unassuming, like me. That is not helpful in the slightest. We must grow. Tom, more houses. <laughs> I'll be back for you. I'll be back for you. I'll take your life and then your wife. This is like the this is like the wooded sector. This is this is like where all the nature loving folks go. This area is gonna be a lot more natural, a lot more parky, a lot more suburban, if you will. And that area or this is gonna be more rural and that down like lower left area is gonna be more suburban. I'm thinking like over here ish. You know what I mean? This is the spot. We're going a lot more rural around these parts. I picked a spot for a home to be built in the future. A new island neighbors, potentially a new island friend. That's really cute. That's a cute sentiment. So we have our two. Oh, this is sold. Marlo. Okay, we have Marlo. No spoilers. No one tell me what Marlo looks like. I'm so excited that they're all like anonymous. Okay, I, Shino, I've given you just like a total schmish smash of tiny flower. Tiny, tiny. What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Is that a frying pan or is it a hand mirror? Oh, it's a magnifying glass. All right, excuse me. Pardon. Excuse me. I'm just gonna scooch by you if that's all right. I'm just gonna, just gonna scooch on by you if that's cool. Thank you. She's burning ants. <laughs> That's totally what's happening. Stop catching rocks. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give someone a. Hi, Phil. Sorry, Phil. Hi, Phil. Yo, Thomas. What's this I hear about you having some kind of special project? I was hoping you might be producing an, on a low. Or nope. I was hoping you might be producing a low budget yet artistically groundbreaking breaking feature film, and so I dropped everything to get my headshots updated. Then I found out even working behind the scenes to get KK a gig on Scunion. That's even cooler, huh? <laughs> Kudos to you. You clearly take this whole resident representative thing pretty seriously. In fact, your dedication inspired me to get something for you. I like you, Phil. They call it a drying rack. You might come in handy for that special project. Wink, wink. Now I leave the rest in your capable hands. <laughs> Maybe wrapping paper. Just the one for now. I have a gift. Anything else look interesting? That's it. All right, now, how do I do this? Wrap. Board game. Present. <gasps> oh my God. I'm gonna give it to Rex. <laughs> Cause you're my favorite. Rex, and we can play together, Rex. I love, I love giving people board games as gifts because I am by nature a selfish person and now I can get enjoyment out of the present too. Yeah. Wow, look at you with all your things. You've got an apple chair. And it takes wow, you've been doing a lot of decorating, champion. You're doing such a good job. I think a rug is probably or it's just like floor. A floor is probably your next uh best. You know what? It's really no worries. Uh I have a present for you. Thomas. Uh watch your step, okay? What are you doing? I'm making me a lily crown. One of the bugs on the floor whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. So I gotta build it before I forget what it even is. Check it out, plans for a lily crown. I can teach you if you want. Yeah, teach, look at his eager face. What a sweet friend. Give it to me. Got it all scribbled down right here, so just read this. Dude. What a champ. If I can make it, then I bet you can do it in no time. Cool cat. Oh, I have a present. I have a present. What's going on with you? This is for you. Huh? Do I get something? Yeah, a present. I can't take it. I'm going to open it. A board game. Thanks. I love colors like this. What? <laughs> if you stare at them long enough, your eyes feel funny. Once I've cleaned up my house, I'll set this out. I can't wait to hear what all my bug friends think about it. Here, man, it's a cardigan shirt combo. Enjoy, cool cat. A cardigan shirt combo? You're adorable. What the hell is a cardigan shirt combo? Uh, 
sick is what it is. If I could get like some jeans to wear with that. Look out world. All right, let's go get another plot of land to throw down. Oh, sorry, Flick. <laughs> Apologies. Hello. I would like to sell some land. I would like to sell some land. I would like to sell some land, please. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. I would like to sell some land. I'm good. See you around. I'll put one like here. Oh, by the river. A riverside manor. That looks good to me. Uh, this is the spot. I love that. Right by the water. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Bing bong. All right, let me plant another tree back here. Duh. Yay. Oh, it's gonna look so good. All right. I'm gonna go back to Tom. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing this over and over again until I'm out of money or I can't place house plots anymore. So I have three. This will be our last plot. Okay, okay. I want to plant one more in this, like, really woodsy area. Maybe, like, up over here. Or, how about this? I want to put them too close to each other. Let's make this one, like, completely isolated from everyone else and put it, like, over here next to the pond and, and have this be, like, the rich person. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to make a clear class hierarchy here. See, I don't actually know what to do with this because I want it to be like in that nook, but I also want it to have like a nice like a backyard. Oh my god, I wonder if I could... I almost love how wasteful that is because I feel like it would represent the class system thing so well. What if I could put a really ornate bridge just over this tiny pond that leads <laughs> straight to like a home right here? Ah, this is enough space though rats that would have been really funny maybe maybe on this side. ah no because that's close to the campsite and i want to be next to the water fodder yeah i i think i think it's just gonna have to be like far back what would this be like i think this is the spot and i'll do some i'll do some work with the trees this will be like the the garden <laughs> It's gonna be like Versailles. I love it. Maybe this is where these white pansies are gonna go. Hell yes. Oh, that fits perfectly. Like back here, like among the trees. This is our like big money spot. I purchased. I guess yeah. Now he's he's just gonna tell me the same shit. Yeah. Okay. I don't I don't need help then. Cause now I just I I need to wait for folks to move in. I need to decorate the island. Everything like that. Okay. All right. Let's look for some sea critters. Let's don the wetsuit. I'm ready for anything now. Huts. All right. Plenty of creatures to catch. That thing is flying. That thing is absolutely flying. And it's huge. That's got to be the spider crab. Okay. You know what? I'm going to come up for air. I'm going to sneak up on you. Come on. It's faster than I am. What the hell, dude? Okay. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Come on. I gotta wait until I'm right on top of it. Yes! Oh, gross! I hate it. Oh my god. Drop it! Why are you just grabbing that thing? I did not expect them to make it, like, actual size. God. Damn it. Oh, it's one of those things. It creeps me the frick out, but like I can't help but stare at it. It's so cool looking. It's like spiders. I love looking at pictures of spiders, but they scare me. Oh my god. I got a spider crab. Water bugs can rest easy. Yeah, just put that in your pocket. Wow. Let me check that off the list. That is... I, I'm not kidding. I have full body goosebumps right now. Oh, terrifying. Oh wait, hold on. That's actually a great suggestion. I would really like some paths. Someone said place the spider crab down, and I am curious what the hell kind of tank they put this thing in if you try to put it on the ground. Creepy. Okay, well, what happens if you place seaweed? Okay, I guess that would make sense. What if you place a sea slug? Ah, look at you and your little tank. All right. Are you serious? It doesn't put it in a tank? Look at that thing's freaking face. Gross. I'm sorry. It's cool. If you love spider crabs, I get it. They're really cool creatures. That is the most terrifying creature on planet Earth. 
What would you like to donate? Get it, get it out, get it out of my line of sight, please. I don't want to look at it ever again. Why are you scared of them? They are harmless, dude. Doesn't freaking matter. Plenty of harmless spiders scare me too. I'm just, I just am. They freak me out. I don't care if it's harmless. What are fears if not irrational? That's kind of the definition of phobia, is it's not necessarily rational. I want to check for the spider crab, and then we're going to take a stroll through the bug zone. Where the hell did they put the, the spider crab? All right, where did you throw this heathen? In there? I don't even know if you would fit in that tank. Monster. Slightly better than the Stardew Museum. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> this is unbelievable. How much effort went into this? Okay, coast is clear. I actually have chills. Like, I'm scared of freaking seeing this thing again. Ew! Oh my god. Oh, there are multiple? Come on now. I just needed one. Oh god. Dude. No. Oh man. Whew. God, that gave my that gave me the shivers, dude. I'm gonna get some water. I need to like calm down. Okay. Let's look at pretty bugs. <laughs> to to calm to calm. Ah. Oh. This area has guitar. Our bug collection seems to be lacking a little bit. Butterflies. Honeybee. Tiger beetle. That one's just out and about. I don't like that. What kind of museum? I wouldn't go on to come here. They just put a wasp nest just like out in the open. And they're just like, all right, take a tour. No. Put that thing in a cage. <laughs> Terrified. Look at you rolling dung around and whatnot. This is like... The spot. I can't even tell what's in here. Oh, I couldn't even see it. Oh, it's creeping. No. Damn, I was having a good time too. No. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh, there's a snail. There's also a snail in there. Lots of work to do, but we're getting there, man. I mean, our critterpedia is starting to fill a little bit. Okay. Incline payment. I am feeling inclined to pay off my incline. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, I'll do it all. All of it. All of it. Mm -hmm. Take it. Every bell. Every single one. Ba -da -ba 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 -ra! We reached our donation goal. Oops. Here I am. I'm back. There's Phil. Oh, my incline. Oh, I need to decorate the outside of Phil's house. Phil doesn't have any furniture outside. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, wait. Update time. First of all, I played a little for a little bit last night. Here's what I done did. I found a spider. <laughs> I told you I was going to fish for a little bit last night because fishing is all I can freaking do. Or I mean, I, I can only catch the hard fish off stream because of the capture card delay. I caught a spider. Um, if it was came down from a tree. I And people were like, oh, you're going to be scared of the spider. Honestly, not as much. These ones, I don't mind. If one was on me, yes, I'd freak out because they're huge. But, like, their webs are so pretty, and they're everywhere at the beach, and I like looking at them. I caught this thing, a man-faced stink bug, on one of my flowers. Uh, I caught a cherry salmon. I was fishing at the Clifftop Rivers to try and find a, um, whatever, <laughs> a string fish, and a couple others. I can't remember. There's some more fish that were, like, Clifftop River. My sheet says, there's a golden trout and a char. You like spiders? I do not like spiders. I'm okay with these ones. I'm arachnophobic though, so for the most part, very much no. Um, I, I went on a bell spending spree. I spent like, or a mile spending. I spent like 10,000 miles. I got a pro decorating license because I didn't know what it meant and it seemed cool and then I could never figure out what it did. Oh no, I remember. It was like, you can put the hang stuff on the ceiling now in your house. It's like, whatever. I can do accent walls. I don't want to do either. I got the recipe for a new kind of fence. I accidentally took a video. Um, didn't mean to do that. I got a street lamp, a park clock, and I made a fountain. And then there's the picture I just accidentally took today. Hello, there, everyone. Right now on Scanning, it's 3 p.m. on Thursday, March 2nd, 2023. Now for today's announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's speak his- Oh, it's Marlo! Marlo, on behalf of your new island family, welcome aboard. I cannot wait to meet Marlo. Ding dong. Oh, it's very windy. I'm getting a phone call. My phone is ringing. Hello, this is Tommy from Nook's Cranny. We sent a payment to your bank account for- Oh yeah, I sold some stuff in the drop off, drop off box. Thank you, Tommy. I, I did some redecorating here. I closed off this little fence. Uh, I moved all my furniture that I just threw onto the ground. I'm keeping this out here though, because it's cute. And then I slid my crafting station over a little bit and made myself a little table with an oil lamp on it. I couldn't figure out how to get something to be in the center of the big table. And so I looked up online thinking I was stupid. It turns out, no, there is actually not a way. 
to display things in the center of a large table outdoors. That seems like an oversight. Also, I moved my little planter to right there. I have a letter. Wow, I have so many. Nook mileage program. Oh, it's my it's my various things I purchased. Hell yes. All right, well, let me open my, my prezies. Present. Oh, it's my street lamp. What about this? It's my street lamp. What about this? It's my park clock. That's right, I got two street lamps. Where... Do, oh, there's my fountain. Look, I made a fountain. Once I have pads, I can make a little town square. Right around here. A little plaza, if you will. Oh, yeah, I made a little campsite area. They said I needed to decorate more, so I'm trying to, like, make more little decorative zones. Oh, look at all of Shino's various flowers next to her birdbath. What a scholar. Reading by the river. There's my best friend's house. I put my lantern I wasn't using on this person's table because it fits their little log cabin deal. Um, our staircase is done. I'm going to put flowers all along here. I'll buy some more flower seeds later today. And we'll put some flowers like on either side. But look, I can go up here now without even having to like burn that many calories. There's Marlo's house. Oh my God. I'm so excited to find out. Whoa, Marlo, your door is so ornate. Let's find out. Marlo. When I think of Marlo, I'm going to try and guess what kind of animal Marlo is. I think of a squirrel. Let's see if it's a squirrel. Or like a chipmunk or a hamster or some kind of rodent. I am a prophet. I promise you. I did not look this up beforehand. Oh, what a fine gentleman. Whoa. Marlo is a baritone. Oh, you're my neighbor. Sorry about that. I'm Marlo. I don't let the cranky exterior fool you. If I like you, I'm actually a nice fellow most times. Any what's it? I've got lots of tiding ahead of me. Let's parlay some other time. Kabish. Oh, like capiche, but for some reason you switch the letters around because you're awesome. Excuse me, man. I love you, Marlo. You're funny. Oh, new person. Again, no spoilers. Vivian. All right, so we have a Vivian moving in soon. This one's no, nothing yet, and then this one isn't either. Oh, so I moved the bath to here because I thought it fit this person's house a lot better. Hi, hi. Thomas, good afternoon. How can I help you today? Um, let's talk island evils. I'm so curious about the current image of Scunion. Right now, Scun... Okay. All right. We, we, we did move up a little bit. We're up to two stars. We're elevating. We're elevating. Let's see some feedback. It's a place I've been quietly watching. It's a secret to everybody. I don't want it to be famous. Yeah, we need more people. Yeah, increasing the population, main focus. It looks like still our main da our downfall is there just aren't enough people here yet, which is there's not much we can do right now. That's just kind of a waiting game. So I'll keep decorating in the meantime. So once we get all 10 folks here, they're going to be like, this is a three-star island right here. We need to start a new project. I'm thinking I want to build another bridge. <gasps> is that a ladybug? Oh, that is a ladybug. I need that. Okay, I got to be quick. I got to be quick and I got to be quiet. Let me up. Are you kidding me? That's stupid. I meant to go up over there, but it wasn't letting me. I didn't even move. Just the sound the ladder made scared it away. I'm sure we'll find another one. Nah. All right. Oh, what was that? I saw smoke. Oh, is it red? Yeah, I literally forgot he existed. Let's go buy some art. We need that for our for our museum. We only have the one. We only have the Miona Lisa. So if I remember correctly, the way this works is that one of the artworks is real. One of the artworks is real. I think, isn't that true? An awful lot of folks have been asking me about it. It's a scary painting. I want a closer look. I don't know um, this what the original looks like, so I can't tell if this is fake or not. Let's look at the other ones and see if I recognize them. I do know this is a real painting of, of, of the woman holding the ferret. I know that's a real painting, like in real life, but I don't know if this is like a... Hmm. I don't know enough about art history to know what these are supposed to look like. What is the- I'm gonna look up this ferret painting. We're gonna cross-reference. Woman holding ferret painting. Called Lady with an Ermine. Ah, I thought so. Okay. I thought so. Thought something fell off. The ferret is supposed to be white. In this one, it's like different colored. That's fake. That's a forgery. The ferret's supposed to be white. I knew something felt off. I will not be buying this red. You're trying to- Slip one by me. Okay, now this one. Painting. Let's cross-reference. Looks pretty real. I think it's real. I'm, I'm pulling the trigger. All right. Gary, painting. We got a new painting for the museum. Sh stop 
talking. Tommy boy. I would like a bridge. This one's going to be in front of the waterfall. So I got to keep that in mind when I'm deciding which bridge to do. Yeah, it's going to need to be one of these arched ones for sure for in front of the waterfall. I love the brick, but like, oh yeah, I think it's going to have to be that red zen bridge. A hundred percent. It's so much more expensive, but it fits the vibe more than anything. I'm thinking literally like right here, like right in front of the waterfall. What? Didn't it didn't to place a bridge near the river to be f just the right width. What? Aw. Oh. Phew. Let me imagine it. Well, what the hell? That's too close to the waterfall. It just like blocks the whole thing. Aw. It's so much bigger than I thought. <laughs> Damn it. Why? I need it to be like Aw oh, man. I wanted it to be like here, but the land's not even enough. I'm gonna scream. Well, well, I don't wanna. Oh, I wanna. Oh, the one I was gonna build, like next to the museum, I wanted to also be brick. I was gonna put one over this because I thought it would be a huge waste of money and that would be funny. But like, none of this land is even, so it's not gonna let me do that either. Well, let's cancel this bridge. That makes me so sad. I was really excited about that idea. I thought it would be fun, and now I'm stuck. Let's build a bridge. This would kind of work, but like. Hmm, doesn't it doesn't fit the vibe as much as this giant freaking Yeah, we'll do the suspension bridge, I guess. So it'll be a suspension bridge. That'll do. Not quite what I was imagining, but good enough. And the the, op the optimistic part is that is cheap as hell. The signpost I'm going to put just right by the the bridge. No. What do you mean there's no room? Look at how much room there is right here. Look at all this goddamn room. Why? I don't understand the tile system of this game. Can I not move it any closer? Why not? Okay, I'm gonna move this tree and see if that helps me out at all. La la. Yummies. Really? It wasn't the tree, it's the bridge. The bridge is blocking this whole area from being accessible. Well. Put it like there. And I liked I liked the tree otherwise. Someone said I don't have to dig holes to plant trees. Well, now it's where I don't want it. <laughs> I like that they're on the same like horizontal level though. Maybe I'll push this back one. That's good. That'll do. Oh, you're cute. You're a cutie. I actually like, you seem very nice. Your eyes are massive. Olive. Oh, well, hello there. My name is Olive. You're Thomas. I'm gonna flip a coin. I've been thinking about it. I I can't decide if I wanna if if, if Olive shall join me on Scunion or if I leave her to die here. <laughs> okay, let's flip the coin, Olive. Let's flip the goddamn coin. If this nickel lands on the head, Olive will be joining us on Scunion. If the nickel lands on the tail side, Olive will be left here to to die, to succumb to the elements. Coin is flipped, the coin is flipped. I don't have a camera, so I can't really, there's no honor system, or I mean, there is, it's only honor system. There's no way I can, I can show you the flip. I could probably, or I could open a program on my computer. Ah, uh, I don't want it, I'm lazy, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna look at the coin. Good luck, Olive. Watch out for coyotes. I hear they're pretty rough this time of year. I'm ready to leave. <laughs> Goodbye, Olive. You seem really sweet, but the coin spoke. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of sad about that. She was really nice, but I like it. It's it's more it's more tense. Damn it. Apples and windflowers. Oh, I see a little head over there. It's a hippo. I actually really like the hippo. Okay. Well, let's take a moment. I'm not a big fan of the term villager hunting because of the fact that they're all animals. It just seems like it could be. <laughs> It feels like we could have used better terminology. What is this person's name? That's actually going to be a big factor in my decision. So let's see. Miss Hippo. Madam Hippo. I like your purple. I like your purple dress. Bubbles. Okay, that's pretty good. Wow, I didn't expect to see anybody on this island. Nice to meet you. I'm Bubbles. You're from Scunion. I've totes heard of somebody. Trey Cool, who's from there. Maybe you know them. Their name is Thomas. <gasps> oh. That's you? Wow, a pair of celebrities on one island. Well, I'm a celeb in training, but it's still fab. That that personality type is the deal breaker for me, I'm afraid. I was really on the bubbles hype train until she started talking. <laughs> I feel bad. I'm not a fan of the of the of that personality type where all they talk about is just like, I'm gonna be a celebrity. She seemed really sweet and I was very excited until she started dropping totes and fab. 
And unfortunately, that's that's the dagger for me. I'm sorry, Bubbles, but it's just not gonna work. Oh, I should end the stream. New fit time. I know, I can't wait. There better be some heat over there. Oh, who are you? You have a sandwich. You're Vivian. I like Vivian. Oh, hey, Thomas. You came at just the right time. Oh, can I bend your ear for a bit? Sure, what's up? You see, I want to ask you about a location for the store we're thinking about. Yes, please. You see, we've gained a lot of customers on this island who can't wait for me to something. <laughs> I've been talking to my sister about opening a proper store right here on this island. But today, I can't... Oh, hi. God, there's so many friends everywhere. Are they playing tag or something? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, okay. Give, give me. Give me. I would love to. I would love to. Your total lifesaver? Yeah, give it to me. Yay! Set it up in whatever spot makes sense to you. Okay. Can I buy clothes? Here's what I'm selling today. Oh, damn. The collarless coat is cool as hell. I am also a sucker for some denim pants. Let's go for both of them and we'll see how they look. F it, dude. Yay! That's all I need. Thank you. I'm gonna try them on. Uh, let's see. Well, let's check my current fit. Okay. With the denim pants. That's an immediate upgrade. Immediate upgrade. So I'm a big fan of this. What does our coat look like? Oh, I actually really like that. All right, folks. We have a new look. And I'm going to actually, you know what? We're going to go for a whole new fit. I'm going to take off the hat. And we're going to go like this. Boom jams. That's sad. I hope you just mistyped the word rad. That's all I'm going to say. Because if you mistyped the word rad, then I agree with you. Let's set it up. Wow, I nailed that. I think that's literally exactly where I need it to be. Let me imagine it. That's it, right? Isn't that like where I was going to put it? I think that's symmetrical. Certainly hope so. Wahoo! This lines up. Yes, it does. And yes, it does. Boom. That's really perfect. And there's going to be a path around here. And then like a straightaway into the plaza. Brilliant. Our island is really coming together here. And once we pick out a spot for an orchard, it's going to look even more lived in and whatnot. I was thinking it'd be fun to do like a more natural staircase up to this area and then make our orchard like over here in this big section. You know, because we're already going for like this being our like little natural area. So why not just go whole hog and make it a, a whatever? Oh, uh, but I'm going to need I can just cut these down probably. I, I was I don't need to dig all of these up. I do really love the spruce trees, though. Oh, they sell spruce saplings. It, yeah, and there are tons. It's totally fine. OK, let's get our axe and let's get chopping. It ain't much, but it's honest work as opposed to dishonest work. I never understood that. What is dishonest work besides just like crime like most work is honest i guess if you're like a really tired customer service person and someone's really getting your nerves and like can i do this you can just be like no you can't anyone else can but you specifically can't nine apples nine pears um we should do in columns of like like fruits so let's do here we go i don't know how much to space them out should I just do every other one and just like cramp them together like to an absurd degree? Or should I space them a little bit? I suppose I should, yeah. Yeah, I should I should give them some room. I could also do like, like that. Let's do that. F word it, man. That's what I say on the occasion. Ta-da. So there's column one of the orch. And then we'll do... I don't I don't want to do apple, pear, apple, pear. I want to bunch them all up because that's how orchards are IRL. Plant some pears, plant some pears, plant some pears. Pear planting. It's honest work. Look at this talent. Shit. Next time we get a pear, we know where it's going. In this one hole. In this one hole that is pearless. Besides that, though, look at all these cute trees that will grow and become bountiful and whatnot let's buy some flowers and maybe some furniture depending on what kind of furniture you have i like the i like the trash can that what the hell am i looking at to the right of the radio come on now you did not have to give it photorealistic eyes and mouth okay well i'm gonna buy the trash can <laughs> garbage pail i'll buy it flowers red hyacinth white one flower pansy hyacinth one flower, whatever okay what do we want to put next to that incline i prefer like white and red type flowers over yellow ones i've never been a sucker for yellow flowers what do you guys think i might do white you know what you guys can suck it actually i'm making an executive decision we're gonna do white one flowers man this place is gonna look so much better when i can plant plant when i can make paths okay pansies are those okay so wind flower And then six. 
Flowers. Brilliant. All right. And then let's go do our pansies. Also, I'll donate all the money I have to the suspension bridge. Uh, cause I want that to get made ASAP. Hello, good friend. Wow, 224. Thank you, team. S helpful as always. As much as possible. <laughs> now. More flowers. More. More. Yeah, I know I'm planting hella flowers. It's truly no big deal. This is all great. We're doing great stuff here. <laughs> Everyone. How many stars do I have? How many stars? Hey, Isabel, am I still at two stars? <gasps> Boom. How easy was that? I didn't even try to do it. It just happened naturally. We've built a solid reputation and come up during many a watercolor cooler chit chat. That was hard for me to say. I'm going to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. Scunion, man. Hearing about how chill it is? I'd go if I had the chance. KS. KK Slider? Well, there you have it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Am I hallucinating or was that feedback signed by a KS? Hmm? Yes, there is. Very clear. Wow, I can't imagine there would be anyone else in the entire world with the initials KS. It must be that's from KK Slider. What? Can't believe it. We finally achieved our goal of bringing our island to the attention of the KK Slider. Not only that, but he said he's looking for an excuse to visit. And what are we waiting for? Yes, yes. Let's offer him a chance to hold a concert on our shores. Strike while the iron is hot, they say. Brilliant. Brilliant. Look, Ink. Look at it on Scunion. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed we did. We greatly appreciate your valuable feedback. It's actually why I'm calling. If you're truly interested in visiting Mr. Slider, we'd be happy to host you in your musical stylings. Yes, quite. I see. Oh my! You mean... Thank you so much! Yes, I'll be sure to mail you all the details straight away. I have a feeling today is going to be our first day in a while where we do some time skippage, because I need to see this concert. Saving. Do not touch the power button. Save. Complete. See you later. <laughs> Boop. I'm going to head out. My patience doesn't let me sit through streams. I tried, though. Thanks for trying. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't hold your attention. Animal Crossing. Here I come. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Scunion, it is 3.09 p.m. on Sunday, March 5th. For today's announcements, we have a new friend on our island. Let's begin. Miss Scunion, welcome. Oh, back at me. Bam. Yay. Now, let's see. To wrap up today's broadcast, I have a very special announcement. The incredible, amazing musician KK Slider is here visiting Scunion. Not only that, Mr. Slider has graciously agreed to put on a special concert run on the island. Stand by for a direct feed from the concert venue. Hope you all enjoy the show. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy bud. Holy scuzz. Wow, look at all my friends. Hey, Scania, it's real groovy being here today. Feels like the stream I once had when I was just a scruffy pup with a shoebox guitar. Just dreaming of hitting out, uh, heading out on my, oh, hitting out on my own, wandering wherever my road would take me. Dreaming of finding a magical place where cool cats like you would come together to see a stray like me. Sorry about that. I do run on. Time to get your fingers snapping. Oh, he's doing the song. Oh, these are the credits. This is really cute. Precious. I loved it. Thank you so much. Maybe I'll catch you next time. Clap, 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 clap. What fun. Oh, I clapped the longest. I went very cute. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay, a lot of stimulus. I was about to say, there's a fossil right to my house. And then I saw that Tom Nook was staring me straight in the face. KK is apparently very fond of our island now. He's going to perform a show here every Saturday evening from now on. Oh, very cute. I hope Scunion remains an enjoyable place to live for a long time to come. With your help, it will. Speaking of which, I developed a new app that should make the island even more inviting. Let me send it to you now. Is this one the one that lets me make paths freaking finally? Wow. Oh, island designer. Yes. A special app from Nook Inc. that gives residents the ability to take part in bold island development. First, you only have permission to create paths. We can use your miles to access more options, like different kinds of paths and permits for changing our cliffs, changing our cliffs and rivers. What's in the mail? What's in the mail? New resident moved into a plot. Oh, the the rich house. That's our last one. Okay, this is gonna be our last villager then. Rank A. Holy fudge. My home is A-ranked. Okay. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. My guess is it's going to be a gorilla. Because <laughs> I don't know. Bam feels like a gorilla type name. Let's see it. Bam. Or like a panda because it's like bamboo. <gasps> oh, it's a reindeer. Yikes. Who are you? Oh, I see. You're just another scunioner. I never locked my door, so 
Anyway, let's start over. My name is Bam, and I'm all about strength training. Oh, are you another another swole boy? Really got my heart racing for a sec there, so thanks. I'm feeling that burn. Woo! Well, if you're new to fitness rival, you got one. See you around. Kablang! I really like Bam. I really like you, Bam. All right, I'll see you around. I like Bam. Let's do paths, and then we'll do some villager hunting. Okay, island designer. I have dirt path, and that's it. How do I get other types of path? What the junk? Okay, well, I will say this. I actually was hoping there would be a dirt path because there are some areas where dirt path appeals to me. Mainly, well, this campfire area. Kind of wanted to make some little like dirt patch patches around here. You know what I mean? Might make it look a little more like lived in. This is gonna be uh, not a dirt path. So we're not gonna do any dirt here. Same here. This is our like nice neighborhood. So there's not gonna be as much dirt going on over here. Up here, however, these are gonna be dirt paths. This is got a nice little path, and it goes over here. There we go, okay. This is good. Look at that. And then here, what's, and there are butterflies flying. I'm gonna put some benches here and, and it's gonna look lovely. This is great. Okay, wow, we've made very little progress. Our island looks so cute. I'm so proud of it. Okay. That's good. That's all for now. I need to find new paths because this is the only stuff I really wanted to do with dirt. Because I feel like this neighborhood is like a dirt path kind of kind of neighborhood. All right, let's go try and buy some new paths. There we go. Waterscaping permit cliff construction. My friend actually told me that you can do this. That you can like construct or destroy cliffs and do the same with waterways. And I thought about it and I decided I don't want to do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid these. I think it's I feel like it'll be a lot more fun for me to just try and like kind of take what the island has given to me and work with it. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid these. That being said, I am gonna wreck the landscape with paths. Br I see bricks. Oh yeah, stone. Arch tile is cool, for sure. But I'm a sucker for cobblestone. Oh, terracotta is cool too. Custom design path permit. Oh, you can like make your own paths with like the pixel editor. That's so fun. Okay, I'm gonna buy the terracotta. I'm gonna buy the stone and that's gonna be all for now because then if I get 20 more miles, I can afford to get two Nook Miles tickets and I want to look for a villager. Now for my town square, do I want it to be stone or terracotta? I think stone for the town square and then terracotta for the suburban village. Are you joking? It doesn't connect to the... That is so frustrating. Why would they make it connect? This little stripe of grass is going to kill me. What are we doing, y'all? This game has so much damn polish. You couldn't just go that little extra, like, 10 feet. Eh. Dude. Seriously? You can't do it here either? Why not? That would take, like, one afternoon to code. <laughs> Please. I'll do let's let's take a let's take a pause. Let's take a pause on the on the on the path lane for a little bit. Oh, I can I'm gonna reset the day back to my day now. Because I did all, all that I have to do. We're going back to Saturday. Oh. Concert. Nobody's watching. Why well, feel really bad? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can get two tickets. Hopefully, in between those two islands, we can find someone who we are very pleased with. Nook Miles ticket has been printed. Hooray! Damn, that's actually catchy as hell. Good looks, man. Shino seems to be enjoying it. To the aeroport. Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies. I would like to use my Nook Miles ticket, please. Time for takeoff. Yay! Folks, fingers crossed. I hope I meet... My new best friend. I have exactly one room for you, future pal. Show me somebody rad. Whoa. Whoa. You're funky. You're pretty cool. I like your colors, of course. You got the pink going on. That's pretty rad. You seem like you're not interested to talk to me, though. Claudia. Well, there's a fresh face. Are you visiting for another island as well? Of course you are. Oh, my friends call me Claudia. And you are? Thomas. All the way from Scunion, even. Isn't that fascinating? Well, we may, be, we may only be here a short time, but I do hope we get to know each other better. You know this about me yet, but I'm always down to dish, darling. See, you're cool. You're very cool. Hmm. No. <laughs> I don't mean to be mean, but I want... I want... Okay. I only have one spot left, y'all. This is really important. I need it. I need to, like... I need it to be someone who, the second I see them, I'm like... This is it. I need, so, I need it to be, like, someone who I see them and instantly I'm like... Ugh. Oh. 
you once more with feeling. Hello. Oh, okay. I like I like this. Hide behind that. Whoa, you're cool. Oh, you're cool. Sky. I'd be the only one on this door. I'm Sky. You're Thomas. Did you really come here all the way from Scunion? I think I flew past Scunion once. Looks pretty from the air. Yeah. 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 Move to my island. Yeah. Airmail? Her catchphrase is airmail? Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Very glad I passed up on Claudia. Sky is rad. Wow. God, and her name is Sky. That's so sick. Let's make a, let's make some corral fences. Really? Six wood? I better make like many and not just one corral fence. What's well, something that would be good for like the side of a house? Honestly, like a sleigh <laughs> would be kind of funny. How about a water pump? How about a water pump? Let's do it. Not what I meant to do. I meant to. There we go. Yeah, F it. And then I'll put a fence in front of it so it's like he's guarding it. <laughs> I love it. It looks great. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um, I feel like I should start some some fencing. I think we need to start giving people like yards. You know what I mean? With some fences. Maybe over here. I feel like Rex could have a nice fence. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, like, this is suburbia. If this is our suburban area, then I feel like this would be the best place to have fenced-in yards as opposed to our more natural neighborhood up north. Bing bong. Okay, can I put one here, or is the barrel in the way? It isn't. Brilliant. Okay. That's good. Huh. I really like the fences back here. I like this look quite a bit, especially if I, like, plant some flowers along here or, like, some shrubbery, if I can ever find a way to get shrubbery. I'm not as huge on them in the front yard. Because I feel like, you know, he's, like, kind of a free-spirited guy. I might just remove the ones in the front and just leave the back fences. Where's the balloon? Here it is. He's chasing a butterfly? Exactly. He's a free-spirited fellow. Look at him. Because for me, these, like, backyard fence-type deals, this, like, this screams suburbs. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, for you all, I'll cap it. I'll make a little cap for it. There we go. This is beautiful. I'm very ha I'm very pleased with how this is coming along. Look at this, dude. Come on. And I'll get some flowers or like some shrubs to like plant along there. It's really starting to come together, folks. It's really starting to come together. Hi. There is so much to talk about. There is so much to talk about right now. I did quite a bit. I did quite a bit since our last visit. I did quite a bit since our last visit. I didn't actually play that much. I only played for like an hour, like two, twice. I pro I didn't play that much because I'm trying to not do that much off stream. But this game, just like the one time I opened it, just because I was like tired and it was late and I was at school and I was like, oh. it threw like 30 things at me. Um, So I screenshotted everything so everyone would stay caught up. But let me tell you, quite a bit happened. First of all, the Able Sisters opened their tailor shop in Scunion. Hooray. We have a clothing store now. Next. I ca finally caught that barred knife jaw or whatever. As always, I'm a freaking fishing machine off stream. If, if you're new here, there's a half second delay because of my capture card. So fishing on stream is really hard. And that means that when I'm off stream, I am a fishing machine. Literally my first cast, I caught this fella. So that's checked off our list. Bing bong. Next. Oh, that one I just screenshotted because it terrified me. Those things will always jump scare me. I hate that there are tarantulas that will just wander around freely. That's not fair. This I took because Phil and Frida are 100% an item. I don't know, like, it's they're not even trying to hide anymore. I made this, I made a comment last week's stream about, like, oh, wow, they they keep hanging out so, oops, they keep hanging, they're spending so much time together, they're hanging out so much, I wonder if they're friends. They're definitely, there's more here. Because since I, after I took this picture, there were also, like, two separate other instances where they were, like, getting super close and hanging out, and it's like, I feel like they're, they're going steady, and that makes me really happy. Oh, yeah. One of the- I didn't know that- I didn't know you could freaking die in Animal Crossing. One of the tarantulas- I- I- God, it, I, like, yelled. I was just running around, and one of the tarantulas, like, jumped me, tackled me, and I died. Good lord. I didn't know that, that they could just straight up attack you. So, I fainted, and I got miles from it. <laughs> So, hooray, I guess. Next, my orchard grew. L look at all those. We're missing one pear tree, so I'll throw one in there. All my flowers grew. There's, I don't know what's up with Sky. She's, like, going through it right now. 
but all my flowers grew. There are all the cool flowers. Um, I paid off the, the little suspension bridge in front of the waterfall. I met this little critter. I, I don't know what anything it- Oh, I also screenshot so it says, Yar, that's 1,000 mile. <laughs> Just the one. I don't know what the deal is with him, but I love him. He's a little turtle. I'm a sucker for turtles. Cap'n. Very cute. Isabel basically just said, hey, go to the dock. There's a boat there. He sang me a little song. It was cute. They said I should go to another island to meet this guy. His name is Brewster. So I talked to him. Uh, apparently, Brewster is going to open a cafe in my museum. So isn't that just the most exciting thing maybe ever? It is. That's a trick question. I caught a golden trout um, in the Clifftop River, and I also caught a stringfish. I don't know why my dude was like, oh my gosh. I don't know what that means. Sometimes my dude just like freaks out. Looks like a pretty normal fish to me. Uh, so I caught, I caught these two. So those were another two checked off my March fish shopping list. I caught a fly finally, and Frida was very proud of me, as you can see. There was a fly hanging out on a tin can, and I caught it. And I was all excited. Um, yeah, our museum has the, a cafe called The Roost. See, I did so much, and this was only like an hour. I'm so productive. This dude, I, I love this guy. He's so nice to me, and I love that he's like a little, I guess he's a sloth. Uh, he's very nice. He sells flowers and plants, and I bought some, and I'll show you when we get into the game. Um, his name is Leaf, and he sold me things. Oh, this is the most monumentous thing to happen. Bye. Far. I was walking around and I saw everyone here knows it's not a secret. I freaking hate Shino. I saw Shino with a little thought bubble above her head. So I talked to her and she said she was thinking about moving out. Said I need some adventure and excitement. And of course, I pretended to be super supportive and be like, maybe we'll survive without you. I was doing like laps. I was so look at this. I screenshot it five times. I was so excited. Six times, seven times. Seven times. Uh, my apparently my store, the 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 store is being upgraded, so it's gonna be extra boy big now. And yep, tomorrow I was so excited about. It. I screenshot like eight times. Scunning bids a fond farewell to our dear friend Shino. Here you <laughs> here you can see my fond farewell. <laughs> I'm so I was so pumped. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, I told I told my friend about this. I was like, oh, I'm so excited. Shino's moving out, and my friend like knows Animal Crossing really well, and she was like. Wait, you mean like you have Shino on your island and she's leaving? And I was like, yeah, Shino's leaving. And <laughs> she was like, so she's like in boxes. Like she's packing her stuff. Her stuff is in boxes right now. It's like, yep, yep, that's how it is. Uh, and she was like, I don't think you understand what this means for you. I was like, what do you mean? And she explained to me that apparently there is an economy in this game. There's even a whole website. It's called Nookazon, which like blew my mind. I thought Rocket League was the only game I knew it was like this. Uh, apparently Shino is like really popular. And apparently... In the Animal Crossing economy, Shino is very valuable. And when Shino is in the stage where she's packing up her stuff into boxes, if someone comes to my island and talks to her, they can get her on their own island. So I went on to Nookazon. So I went on to Nookazon, and I and I don't I don't know the economy. So I just made a listing where I was like, "Hey, I have a Shino, and I hate her guts. Take her away from me, please." And when it said like, "What are you looking for?" I was like, "Uh, you make the offer," because I don't know what the economy is like. So I was just like, "You make the offer," and I was expecting like maybe I'll get like a hundred thousand bells because that would be so much money I could pay like a bit of a bridge or like oh my gosh maybe they'll give me a few Nook Miles tickets because I want to look for more villagers and, and whatnot oh yeah 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 someone messaged me and offered to give me 50 tickets 5-0 50 Nook Miles tickets just to take Shino away from me and I was like that's a win-win I would have just been happy getting her out of here and now I'm being compens compensated for my time so I was up until 4 30 in the morning because the person I traded with lives in Asia uh so it was it was a late night for late night for therm but um it was she was so sweet she came we were chatting and she was really nice and she gave me 50 tickets and a present a surprise little present and i was like you shouldn't have and then took shino and i was like wow so it was a big it was a big day yesterday look at all my tickets wow uh so prime objective for today i'm learning more and more about the animal crossing gameplay loop as we go Apparently, the, the, there's a phenomenon called villager hunting in which that's why you're probably wondering why I'm streaming today instead of I usually stream on Sundays. It's because I have an empty plot right now because Shino's gone and I don't want to risk waiting until tomorrow and I don't want some rando to move in. So for now, I have an empty plot. So if I bounce to a bunch of Nook Miles Islands, I can look for a new villager to fill her spot. And I have 50 tickets to work with. So I can be really stingy <laughs> about like looking for the perfect fella. Any ideas you're looking for? No, not really, because I don't really know any of them very well. I'm trying to stay mostly blind on the on the um, villagers. But I will say, uh, my friend showed me some of her villagers and some of the villagers who she once had and then sent packing. Uh, punchy? Kind of a big fan of Punchy. 
He's a little kitty cat, and apparently he has the same personality type as Rex. And y'all know how much I love his personality. So, Punchy the Cat, probably pretty high on my list. If I see Punchy the Cat, Punchy's coming to, to, to Skunya instantly. Plus, the name Punchy? Come on. Punchy. Ugh. Precious. Ugh, oh, where's Shino? Where has Shino gone? Plot available. Oh, man, but I thought Shino lived here. I won't miss her even slightly. Fish fun fact. Fish can have conversations with little sounds they use within their species. No freaking way. No way. You're you're joking. Okay, let's Ah! Gross. I God. That was a genuine scream too. That was not I was not yanking your chain. Where the hell did it go? There it is. Picking up its legs at me. Dude, this freaking game. God, I wish there was like a mod or not a mod. I wish there was like a setting you could turn on in this game that's like remove tarantulas from the game i did not this is not what i signed up for i signed up for like a chill nice time rotten hell oh my god okay let's go villager hunting is what i was gonna say and then i got jumped well first i gotta buy more tickets at least they give you like a little bit of grace period if you like run into one by accident or they won't just immediately attack you from off screen oh god okay let's go find some friends Let's find some champs. I missed the airport. I missed it. Okay. Let's find some friends. I have one spot on my island. I have 53 tickets to work through here. Fingers crossed. Tarantulas won't attack you if you don't have your net equipped. I don't care if they attack me or not. I just care if they're there. They scare me. All right. I'm going to be incredibly, 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 uh, what's, what's the word that I have in my brain somewhere? It's, it's like trying to fight its way out. Incredibly like it's not like discerning it's like being really like being a stickler but it's an adjective it's not picky it's not stingy it's gonna be really we'll just say particular be very particular selective selective is good selective is good oh i see someone i see someone another lion i'm you, you seem great but i have two. Oh, you see, do seem cool i already have a couple lions i'm going for a little more diversity i'm afraid i'm ready to leave <laughs> okay oh I saw someone. Who are you? Oh, Fox. You're pretty cool. What's your name? Chief. Well, your voice is super deep. I'm Chief. I came around a whim, but this island doesn't seem that bad. Harumph. Oh, I do like Chief. But I already have a couple who look like you. So, you seem, again, you seem rad. You seem rad. But, man. I'm going for gold here. Pierce? Wilderness training is just the best, isn't it? I'm Pierce. What's your name? Thomas, huh? Great to meet you, Thomas. You're not from Scunion, are you? You are? I didn't know it was real. you the best abs on the planet come from there, Hawkeye. You're a jock. Okay. Pierce is pretty rad. I can't lie. Damn, dude, Pierce is rad as hell. This is so hard. I know there are a bunch of these. I know there are a bunch of eagles out there. I know there are a bunch of eagles out there, and I love the eagles. I can't lie. I can't lie. I love the eagles. But I also... I already have a lot of, like, jock people, and it's not my favorite personality type because they're not very interesting to talk to because all they ever talk about is their glutes and whatnot. And whatnot! <gasps> ah! I hate this dumb game. Who's, who's, who's here today? A koala bear. Hello. I want to chat with you. You seem cool. Ozzy. Nice to meet you. I'm Ozzy. I'm visiting this island today. You're Thomas from Scunion. That's real cool. Sounds real neat, right? Let's have some fun together while we're both here, old bear. You are really cute, and I like that you have dimples, Ozzy. I can't lie. Ugh, oh, man. I don't know. I do really enjoy Ozzy. Ugh, oh, God, this is tough. This is the toughest one so far. Ozzy's probably my favorite one yet, but I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I said at the beginning I was gonna be a huge freaking stickler, and here we are. Let's get to work. No, thank you. God, I still can't get it. Whatever. Anka seems cool. God, the tarantulas. Stop. I wanted to go check in with that guy, but I don't want to get near that freaking thing. Never mind. He kind of scares me. He looks really angry at me. Ugh. I should probably catch that. They're worth a lot of money. Where did you even go? How'd you- There's two- There's three! Oh my god. Why are there three on my screen? You're just like casually walking through them. There are three of them. Ah! Jesus Christ. Hop! Oh my god. It fell in the water. They're everywhere! Oh my god. There are like three. 
And they're all bunched up, so if I go for any of them. Ay! Yaha! Woo! Oh my god. You little gremlin. You little gremlin. Jump the gap! Why did I why did it use the net? What is wrong with my stupid moron character? I thought if you were in a one block gap and then or one tile gap and hit A, he jumps it. Why didn't it let me jump? I thought if I go like this, I would Oh, can you not when the net's equipped? That's stupid. Whoa. I'm okay. You're intense. Next contender. Oh my god. No, thank you. That is terrifying. That is horrific. <laughs> What is Thurm looking for? A villager he vibes with or punchy? That is a great <laughs> description. That that thing is terrifying. Apparently, apple. I don't like apple. Apple is horrific. We can do it. We can do this. We can. 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 Can. Can we? Yeah, probably. We can. We can. We cam. We cam. Wheat can. Wheat clam. Weak ham. Meat slam. Come on, please. 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 I need someone who I see and I'm like, oh, you. We're really scraping the, the bottom of our supply here. Oh, no. You probably should have taken Pierce. I just don't like the jocks, man. I wanted someone who like looks like Pierce, but is not a jock. It's all right. We still have eight. We still have eight tries. We still have eight tries. Seek yam, sweet hands. I only needed one ticket. I only needed one ticket for Rex. I can do this. I can do this. If you want tickets, I'm happy to provide. I don't need a sugar daddy. I'm fine. Okay, come on, please. Greek yam, B slam, beep dam. Another Elefanto. This one's going. <laughs> Axel. Wilderness training is the best, isn't it? Oh, you're a jock. Oh, you're a jock. Oh, you're a jock. Oh, you're a jock. Best abs on the planet. I'm gonna jam my pull into your face. Feet jam. Hot damn. Please, 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 please. Whoa. No, thank you. Those are the eyes that scare me. Hello. You seem cool. I'm okay, though. Next. By the grace of God, I have gone through 51 of my 52 tickets and taken no one. <laughs> so we're on to our last ticket. Show me Punchy. Punchy! Punchy, you look different. Anchovy! Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Anchovy. Visiting this island today. You're Thomas from Skanyan. That's real cool. Sounds real neat, right? Sounds some fun together while we're both here. Chirp! I like you, Anchovy. You know what? I'm not too displeased with having Anchovy be my be my big winner. <laughs> Anchovy's a silly name. He seems cool. Welcome to the squad, Anchovy. Wanna come to mine? Huh? You live on Scunion, right? Is it like this there too? Whoa, then I wanna go. Ron's as cool as you, then I wanna go, Thomas. I like anchovy. All right, anchovy. Wait, th th I just realized this is exactly the stuff that Rex said when I invited him. Are you also like Rex? Are you Rex's personality? Because if that's true, then it was meant to be anchovy. Oh my God. It's been an absolute pleasure. All right. I like anchovy. Obviously, we didn't get what we came for, which is someone I felt an instant electric connection with or punchy specifically. But I'm sure we'll have another chance in the future to do some villager hunting. I'm gonna have to gather some more tickets. I, I doubt I'll be able to sell a villager like Shino for like a million again. But that was still great. Caught a firefly squid, finally. So that's all the sea creatures for February and March found. And I caught a blue marlin at the pier. So that's another fish ticked off. I have all, I have caught every bug available in February and March. I have caught every sea creature available in February and March, and I've caught every fish available in February and March, except for the char and the ranchu goldfish, which are also available in April, so I'm just gonna like not worry about those. So for we're gonna say that for all intents and purposes, critter hunting, all good, all done. Uh, I was playing Yahtzee with my mom. Oops, these are all accidents. Uh, oh, and this is from last time. 
Okay. Well, then there isn't really much to update on. Uh, we did, It's been two weeks since we played Animal Crossing because last week I had to cancel the stream. I can't remember why. I think because I... Why did I cancel the stream? Was it because I wasn't feeling well or was it because I had something going on? I can't recall. I just know that I didn't stream last week. There's Bam. Good boy, Bam. Um, as much as I love all the lovely folks on my island, I'm honestly really, really just counting down the days until one of them wants to move out because hunting for a new villager last time we did that was so fun. And I am so itching to do that again. Also, since last time I did a little bit of decorating. See, look, now I have a path that goes to my house. Oh, I'm about to get fast stacks. My phone is ringing. Hello, this is Timmy from Next Cranny. You sent a payment to your bank account for 51,264 bells. Oh my God. Thanks for using the service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. Thanks, pal. I have a path that goes to my house now, and I have this brick path that goes down past all my flowers. Oh. Oh my god, Frida! Okay, wait. This is bittersweet. Well, it depends. Maybe we'll just be thinking about something else. Something random. Thomas, there's something I wanted to bug you about if you've got a sec. Oh. Oh my god, Frida wants to leave. Okay. I did just say I was hoping someone would leave because the villager hunting was fun. But man, Frida was one of our original pals. You know what I said, though? If you weren't here on my last Animal Crossing stream, I said that besides Rex, the untouchable, if anybody says they want to leave, I'm going to let them. Because I, I don't like the idea of having, like the same 10 villagers on my island for the rest of time unless they are like my favorites ever uh phil is tearing it up back there with those vocal cords all right well i'm thinking of moving thoughts <sighs> it's okay i get it well it's been a blast living on scunion no regrets rocking memories oh you and i loved hanging out with you keep the others in line all right i'm crushed you will be so sorely missed Ugh. I love you, Frida, but also thanks, because villager hunting was fun. <laughs> Look at everybody else. There's Vivian and Sky and, and Bud and Bam. Bud and Bam. You guys have silly names and whatnot. Okay, let me continue doing a little, like, tour of everything I've done decoration-wise. Put up the volleyball net. It's right there. I planted these hedges, and I'm going to fill these with blue hyacinths when I get them. I made this little brick path. Uh, I, gave ra or I gave Bud a yard with some bushes and some flowers. Um, so, yeah. Just a little bit of beautification in this bottom right sector. I think it looks really nice. I'm very happy with it. Make her a grave. Okay, so that's going to be an instant veto for me. <laughs> I don't want to imply that she's passed away. Uh, today's full attention is going to be villager hunting. Oh, but last time I got like 50, my hands on like 50 Nook Miles tickets. I don't know how I'm going to... Oh, they're saying bye to each other. I'm going to weep. How do I... Okay, here's the thing. And I will say, as always, I am forever open to time travel. Let me, okay, there's lots to do. I hear balloon as well. And then let's check what our island star rating is. How many stars does my island have? Last time I checked, we had three stars. And we've done a lot of work since then. So I feel like we've got to be at at least four. All right. I'm trying to think of like the... Okay, well, for now. Let's go ahead. Ready to wrap things up for now. Save and end. We're going to go ahead. We're going to time travel to tomorrow. So Frida's going to be packing up. And then, yeah, I'm trying to think of like... What are you guys in the chat? Oh, there's my own mother saying, Wobble Dogs win. Mom, I will kill you. Um, folks in the chat, what is the consensus on the morality of me doing a trade with one of you lovely folks who are watching? I don't know if, if you're cool with that. If so, that's cool. I know a lot of times, uh, like I've suggested it and a few people have said like, that's a gross power dynamic. So I don't know if anyone thinks it's gross. Totally fine. We didn't see who was in the campsite. Oh, there's someone in the campsite. Okay, wait, we need to do that first. I'm sorry. It seems like most people are cool with it. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, oh my god, we can we can do like an auction. We can auction Frida that. Oh god, that makes me feel like a terrible person. Isn't it? We can auction Frida off live. <laughs> I'll I'll get I'll get her boxes and then say like, all right, what's everyone's offer? Let's see what Nookazon says is the average value of the economy. It says Frida thirty Nook Miles tickets. It says is the standard value. That make okay. This feels terrible. I'm so sorry, Frida. Uh, anyway, let's go see you at the campsite. Maybe it's punchy. <laughs> you never know. I don't know what would happen because I don't have a house for you to move into. Whoever's in here, but you terrify me. What's your name? Cookie. Hey, it's nice to meet you. I'm Cookie. You live on this island, right? I'm camping here. Going to kick back and chill on Scunion for a bit. Let's hang out while I'm here. I'm okay. Hi, Frida. Oh, you. Oh, I just realized I said your freaking catchphrase. Glad you came by. It's been real, but I finally decided it's time to move on. Thanks a bunch for the advice the other day. It really meant a lot. 
Um, I wish I could leave you with a smile, but yeah, I'm really gonna miss you. That is so sweet. Don't forget me, all right? Oh, Frida, I will never forget you. I love Frida. Bye. Oh. All right, let's auction. <laughs> We're gonna start the miles at 10. The buzzword for what for making a bid is gonna be in all caps beans, please. If you say beans, please, in all caps beans, please, that means you are placing a bid. All right, starting bid is 10 Nook Miles tickets. Do we have any takers? I see a beans, please. Sarah Thompson. Okay, I see a beans, please 100. That feels, I would feel honestly guilty taking 100 tickets. That feels like too many. I see a beans, please 30. I see a beans, please 50 for PB and Jilly. Beans, please 110. Okay, I don't, okay, this is, this is too bad. Okay, I'm gonna put a hard cap on 100. 200, no. Okay, we're putting a hard cap on, this, this fell apart. Okay, this fell apart. Does anybody want to trade a hundred tickets for my Frida or whatever? Okay. Now, how are we going to do this? God, this is so hard. I hope I'm not like breaking any terms of service right now. Let me grab my switch and then you can DM me on Discord with the code. Oh yeah, that's a great shout. Uh, oh, I have to, hold on. Uh, add image. Uh, browse. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna cover uh, the screen with this funny tweet I found. <laughs> there we go. Oh wait, but now that's all I see. Oh wait, now I can do this. There we go. Okay, and now we wait. Oh, I, I think I can show the game again now. Yay. <gasps> Looks like someone's on their way here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Airline, D Dodo Airlines. Photogenic trash, Jill. Arriving from Dreampoint. <laughs> Photogenic trash is funny. I think I- wait, no, I think I've said that- I'm just having a flashback. Wasn't there like a previous stream when I said like- I feel like I've seen that before and, and someone put it in my chat like, Oh, my thing is photogenic trash. That was you? Okay. I knew I'd seen it before and I said I thought it was funny. Oh my god, what? Jill, you are styled the frick up. Now I feel like a, I just got pulled off the street. I feel like a homeless man. Oh my god. The community. Just throwing the goods right up front. I'm gonna give you a present. I don't really have anything. Uh, clam. <laughs> oh no, I can't give it. I can only release it. Oh shoot, I, I don't have any presents. Oh, pagoda. This is for you. <laughs> Look at all these tickets. Oh my gosh. There's so many. Wow, small present for me. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, no problem. I'm sure it means the world. <laughs> okay, Frita is... Over this way. Over this way. Over this way. Frida's this way. Frida's this way. Present. Uh, open. A rain hat! What does it look like? Oh, I look cute. That's adorable. Next time it rains, I'm putting on my rain hat. And I have an extra shovel for when my shovel breaks. Yeah, I think I had. It's what I do. That was so great. Yay. Thank you. Oh, goody. Have a great day. You too. This is going to take me forever to type out. You. Oh, God. Eh. You too. Exclamation, exclamation. Boom. I'm really slow at that. Bye-bye. Uh. Uh. <sighs> no. I didn't get it off in time. <laughs> ah, look at all these tickets! Okay, I have so many chances to make new friends. And let's get on it now! Okay, so does that mean that Frida's house is now, like, completely abandoned? I suppose... Okay, 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 okay. I've moved out, says Frida. So now what I'm gonna do is save and quit. I'm gonna switch the time back to yesterday. So now, then we'll be back on time. But it'll count as a day passing. So it'll, um... We'll have a plot open, and then we can start going wacky silly. All right, in terms of what we're looking for, of course, if I find Punchy, the hunt is over instantly. That goes without saying. If I find Punchy, it's over. Other than that, I am hoping for, I don't know what I'm hoping for. Something that speaks to me is basically what I'm going for. Hornsby, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Hornsby. I'm visiting this island today. Okay, dude. Hornsby. Dude, Hornsby. Dude. Here's the deal. I desperately want Hornsby. But I'm also really sad about the idea of ending this search right away. Because, like, there's not many folks I could find that would get me more excited than Hornsby. But, like, I was really excited about doing this for the rest of the stream. And now it's like I'm going to grab Hornsby and I'm going to have no idea what to do with myself. That being said, come here. Come here. 
You're coming to my island. Oh, is, is, is he the same, like, personality as Rex, my favorite boy? Just living in life, pointing at nature. Want to come to mine? We're grabbing horns, babe. We're grabbing Hornsby. We found our fella. Crown's as cool as you, then I want to go with Thomas. Hornsby. Man, oh man, Hornsby. What should I do to move to Scunion? If I call your Mr. Tom, I can tell him everything. Thanks. Yay! Take him and then watch the tutorial on how to kick out villagers. I guess that's what we're doing, folks. Today's going to be the villager hunting episode. To kick someone out, you just have to keep time traveling until the person you want out has a thought bubble. All the other stuff like hitting with nets is a myth. Okay, well, guess we're gonna be doing some time traveling then. Just time travel a month ahead and pick a god and pray someone wants to go. Okay. System. Date and time. The ele oh, the 11th. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> and I'm scunning until April 11th. If you want a rug or some new wallpaper to spruce up your place, Sahara's visiting. Oh! So there's a lot of unique designs you won't find anywhere else. I would love a rug. Dude, hell yes. I would love a rug. That's like the thing I keep saying I need is a rug for my room. Y'all know what I'm saying. Every time I talk about, oh my god, I need a rug to put in my room. It's what's missing. And now they said there's someone under a chew. Mom. What the hell does that even mean, Mom? What, what's wrong with you? Oh, the weeds. Oh, no. They look different. Oh, and they might, maybe they're like different weeds for each season. Oh God, the weeds have gotten real bad. Okay, we're gonna have to do some serious. Oh my God. Okay, well, I'd like a rug, please. Hello, you are calling me Sahara for it is the name I have carried for as long as I have carried these rugs. I bring these rugs from my home, which is far to help you decorate your home, which is near. I have small rugs, large rugs, and rugs of the medium space between. The design is seen after the buying. I have also mysterious flooring and wallpaper. Oh, how surprising you will find it. Are you ready to buy? A rug, please. Yes, a rug for your purchasing. What size shall be the rug of yours? Small rug is a thousand bells, medium rug is fifteen hundred, and large rug is two thousand, yes. A large rug. Ah, greatest of tragedies. Your pockets are too full for bonuses. You must have room for bonus. Speak to me again when your pockets are one degree more empty. Shit. What? What is bonus? What the hell's bonus? Okay, well. The bonus brothers? Haha. <laughs> Give me the rug right now. Now I will accept the money payment. It's for you. Yay! Exchange tickets as bonus for good soul who buys good rugs. If you save up five tickets, you can trade for mysterious wallpaper or mysterious flooring. I get three tickets. Thank you, Sahara. Bye. Alright, well, let's let's time travel. Let's just go ahead and do it. I mean F it, right? Uh tomorrow at 5 30 so it'll be sunset and pretty and whatnot oh my god it's raining it's a rainy day and we have an april shower on our hands i'll sell all my excess fossils and then we'll skip another day and we'll be doing this for a good okay dude we'll be doing this for a good long while oh it's anchovy anchovy do you want to leave oh hey there thomas Sorry, I was lost in a thinking hole. I'm trying to decide a thing. I've been thinking about if I ought to move away. Man, Anchovy, you just you just arrived. You just got here, sweetheart. I'm watching a bunch of travel shows and going to new places seems like a cool way to get smart. I do really enjoy Anchovy, especially his little room. But I think we've got to do it. That could work is a weird way to phrase it. It sounds like you're like a mastermind. Like, yeah, okay, that could work. You just got here. Well, I really like you, Anchovy, but we had some really good times, Chirp. Oh my god. Anchovy, are you definitely moving away? Yep. Thanks for listening to me talk about moving. I'm all packed up and ready to go, but I've been waiting for you. On TV, nobody says goodbye, unless it's a really sad movie. No, what TV folks do is they smile and they say, I'll see you later. So that's why. Thomas. I'll see you later. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Bye, Anchovy. I like you. Bye bye. That's really sweet. Uh, let's go upgrade our house because I have fat stacks. And then I'll skip another day and then we'll start uh, looking for some new friends. Oh, no, next stop. Give me my miles. Thank you, champion. Please select from the following services uh, ABD. And then. Oh my god, I have. 271,000 already in here. Oh my god. I didn't know that. Holy shit. I'll pay from pockets and then I'll still have $271,000 in there. Yes! I finished paying off my home loan. Yay! I'd like to do another home loan, please. <laughs> Hello there. Congratulations. Yay! Well, I suppose you could have another room. Let me tell you better. I don't mind me. I can't help myself. 
Yes, you've piqued my interest. About my home, I want to expand. We're 40,000. Oh my god. Let's do it. Thank you, mister. Okay. Uh, now, ready to wrap things up? I'm ready. And then tomorrow we'll be on the hunt again. Last time I was gearing up for like a being in for the long haul, and then I found horns be on my third island and lost my shit. So we'll see if something similar happens. I'm so excited to go on another hunt, and it's a bright, sunny, happy day. Bing bong. Okay, well, let's see what our house looks like, because I'm eager. Well, that's awkward, isn't it? Okay, let's let's do some... Let's do some work here. That'll be my wardrobe place. Uh... Yeah, whatever. I don't like that my bed is in this weird, like corner that's not good this weird bed corner thing i've got going on but it's what we're gonna do for now because i want to go to my new room boom it's identical we'll deal with the house stuff at a later date for now we find a new friend the bed corner feels like a dorm room yeah you really have to like tetris your way into bed all right here a we go folks and friends let's give it our very best this is it folks this is for all the marbles for all the beans all the beans time for takeoff an elephant. I'm okay. Next. <laughs> this game makes me feel like such an asshole. But uh, as I always said in our last villager hunting stream, I'm looking for like an instant connection. The way I got one with Hornsby. Where I was like, oh, and who is living here amongst the oranges? Whoa, an octopus. Oh, you look really mad at me. I don't like that energy you bring. Here we go. Next contender. It's the koala again. We saw the koala last time and I really considered grabbing it because I mean, look at its doofy smile. <laughs> A polar bear, I think, allegedly. Can you turn around? Wow. That is a strong appearance. That is honestly hilarious looking. You are wild. Tutu. Hi, fab to meet you. Deal breaker reached. She's really cute, but nah. Robot frog. Oh my God. It's Ribbot. Are you here for survival training too? My name's Ribbot. What's yours? Thomas, huh? And from Scunion. All right, it's cool to meet you. I'm gonna get back to surviving. You know, if you need help lifting a tree or something. Oh, are you a jock? Zribbit. Robot frog. I'm okay. Are you the same wolf? No, you're a different wolf. Are you the one that said alpha and I ran away in, in fear? Kyle <laughs> or whatever. Oh, you're like an old man. No. Doby. Hey, I'm Doby. Came here on a whim, but this sound doesn't seem half bad. Oh, um. hang on. You're Thomas from Scunion, yeah? I had no idea this is some kind of trendy destination, but it's cool to be hobnobbing with you here. I like Doby. I like Doby. Damn, this is tough. I do really like Doby. I like Doby. 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 Ah, it's tough. This is tough. This is tough. This is tough. I like that he like has a strong personality. You know what I mean? We're, I th I'm pulling the trigger on Doby. It's good to step away and look at things from a distance sometimes. Like I'm looking back, I'm wondering if maybe it's time for me to make some kind of change, shake stuff up. Want to come to my island? Think of Punchy Therm. What are you willing to give for Punchy? I, a lot, yes. But like, I don't want to say no to Doby. I don't want to have what happened last time where I say no to Doby and then don't find Punchy and get stuck with something I don't want. I love Doby. I, eventually, we will get Punchy. It's going to happen. Eventually. Oh, God. But you're right. I have so many freaking tickets left. No, I'm pulling the trigger. Are you really asking me to move to Scunion? That's quite an invite. I love your eyes. I almost, I almost don't know what to say. Which ain't usually a problem for me. But you like it there, right? Everyone has, everyone is neighborly as you. It's a great island. I'm just funning with you. Of course you'd love your home island. Where else would you be inviting me? I love you, Doby. So if I count as this Tom Nook fella, help me with all the paperwork. I'm no good with that nonsense. Oh, you're great. Reckon I ought to start packing up my stuff as soon as I get back home from here. I don't know. I don't, the ohm part doesn't really work for me. But besides that, guess I won't be calling that place home much longer, will I? Oh, Doby. Oh, Doby. <laughs>